السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس پریویس سیشن میں ہم لوگوں نے ڈسکس کیا کہ واٹ از ماڈل اے ماڈل ٹرائز ٹو ایکسپلین دی بیہیویئر آف ون آر مور ویریبلز جنرلی اے ماڈل از ا سیٹ آف مور آر مور دن ون میتھمیٹیکل ایکویشنز دیٹ ایکسپلینز دی ریلیشن شپ بٹوین one or more variable one or more variables then we took an example of profit maximization model and uh, then we studied how a model is verified using two methods or two approaches one was one is a testing assumption approach and other is testing predictions testing assumption is direct approach to verify your model and testing predictions is actually indirect approach to verify a model sometimes one approach is used and on the other time and other approach is used some economists uh, favor direct approach and other economists favor uh, testing predictions are indirect approach now we will be talking about general features of economic models the number of economic models in current use is of course large in every subject there are different theories and models specific assumptions used and the degree of detail provided vary greatly depending on the problem being addressed the model used to explain the overall level of economic activity may be complex but uh, generally every economic model has three features though <clears throat> there are different models there is variety of model, models in each discipline and uh, like other disciplines in economics too but every economic model practically has three common elements economic models involve or have common element of set asperibus assumption you know every economic theory or model starts with the statement other things remaining the same other things the same other things being equal this is basically assumptions of the model sometimes these assumptions are also known as conditions of the theory or model you know law of demand law of supply and similar other models law of diminishing marginality law of equivalency every model every law and economics starts with certain assumptions this element is known as set asperibus assumption second element that every economic model has is the supposition that economic decision making seek to optimize something that is every economic model focuses on optimization of something you know when we talk about optimization sometimes our objective function is maximization and sometimes our objective function is minimization of the function for example consumers or households want to maximize their utility from maximize to firm tries to maximize its profit its revenue its sales sometimes objective of the firm is to minimize costs a firm may have the objective to capture maximum share of the market so that maximum buyers in the market are buying its product either it is a good or service and third common element that an economic model has 
is a careful distinction between positive and normative questions. Now we will be talking about each element in detail. So let's start with the Sartre's Paribus assumption. As in most sciences, models used in economics attempt to portray relatively simple relationships. But every economic model has certain assumptions. Certain assumptions are basically all those factors that are assumed to be constant during the period of study. While we study the relationship between two or more than two variables, it is general practice that while studying this relationship, we keep certain variables constant. These certain variables practically may not be constant, but uh, for the time being, for the period of study, some factors are assumed to be constant. And the, this is uh, basically Sartre's Paribus assumption. These are the assumptions of the theory or model. These are conditions of the theory or model. Whenever there is a change in one or more than one variables that are assumed to be constant during period of study, our results will change. For example, when we study law of demand, we keep certain variables constant. For example, other things, the statement of law of demand is other things remaining the same. If the price of a commodity increases, its quantity demand decreases and vice versa. Now certain variables, certain things are assumed to be constant. What are those certain things? What is Satrix Peribus assumption? That income of the consumer does not change. Prices of other goods does not change. Taste of the consumer does not change. Weather does not change. There is no change in population. There is no change in the habits of a person. Whenever there is a change in any of the variable that is assumed to be constant, our results will change. For example, if the price of a commodity increases and at the same time, Income of the consumer also changes. Now, it is not necessary that when the price has increased, quantity demanded will decrease. This may not happen now because now income of the consumer has also changed. So with the changed income, that person may be able to purchase different quantity of a good or service. For example, aap campus mein aati, to aap ki pocket money 100 rupees per day hai. To aap is 100 rupees per day ki budget ke saath certain e-tables jayam purchase kar sakti. Kisi din jo hai, wo aap ki pocket money jo hai, wo Increase will be double will be for example. So now you are in position that the good or service ki price change na bhi ho. So tab bhi ab ab increased pocket money ke saath pehle se zyada cheeze purchase kar sakte. So anyways, certain variables are assumed to be constant for a particular model. For example, a model of the market for wheat might seek to explain wheat prices with a small number of quantifiable variables, such as wages of farm workers, rainfall, and consumer incomes. 
this parsimony in model specification permits the study of wheat pricing in a simplified setting in which it is possible to understand how the specific forces operate what is parsimony parsimony principle hai model specification ke wale se econometrics mein statistics mein aap log isko shayad study kiya ho parsimony a principle is that asserts that keep the model as simple as possible this is principle of parsimony so anyways जब आपने एक मॉडल को स्टडी करना है तो हम सर्टन वेरिएबल्स को कॉन्फिडेंट एज्यूम करेंगे ऑल दो एनी रिसर्चर वे रिकगनाइज दैट मैनी आउटसाइड फोर्सेस फॉर एग्जांपल प्रेजेंस ऑफ वीट डिजीजेस चेंजेस इन द प्राइसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स और ट्रैक्टर्स और शिफ्ट इन द कंज्यूमर एटीट्यूड्स अबाउट ईटिंग ब्रेड affect the price of wheat these other forces are held constant in the construction of the model it is important to recognize that economists are not assuming that other factors don't affect wheat prices rather such other variables are assumed to be unchanged during the period of the study फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप ये देखना चाह रहे हैं कि वीट की प्राइसेस को कौन कौन से फैक्टर अफेक्ट करते हैं तो ये एनालिसिस ये मॉडल स्टडी करते वक्त आप कुछ वेरिएबल्स को कांस्टेंट एज्यूम करेंगे वजह क्या है वजह ये है कि एक तो ये कि आपने अपने मॉडल को एज सिंपल एज पॉसिबल रखना है कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नहीं बनाना और फिर जब हम एक या एक एक वेरिएबल का दूसरे वेरिएबल के साथ जब रिलेशनशिप को स्टडी करते हैं तो कुछ वेरिएबल्स को हम कॉन्फिडेंट रखते हैं ताकि हम क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई कर सके कि एक वेरिएबल के चेंज होने से डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल पे में क्या चेंज आएगी इन दिस वे द इफेक्ट ऑफ ओनली अ फ्यू फोर्सेस कैन बी स्टडीड इन अम्प्लीफाइड सेटिंग such satis paribus assumptions are used in all economic model modeling ab ye jo practice hai kuch variables ko constant rakhne ki ye natural sciences mein bhi hai ki wahan pe natural sciences mein jab aap certain experiments kar rahe hote hain to aap wahan pe kuch cheezon ko control karte hain लेकिन नेचुरल साइंसेस के और सोशल साइंसेस के जो एनालिसिस है उसमें डिफरेंस है क्योंकि नेचुरल साइंसेस के जो एक्सपेरिमेंट्स हैं वो लेबॉरेटरी बेस्ड होते हैं और लेबॉरेटरी में जीवों को कंट्रोल करना रिलेटिवली आसान है ऑन द अदर साइड जो सोशल साइंसेस हैं इनका फोकस जो है इनका जो सब्जेक्ट मैटर है वो ह्यूमन बींग्स हैं और ह्यूमन बीइंग्स के बिहेवियर जो है वो कॉन्स्टेंट नहीं है तो एनीवेज सर्टेन वेरिएबल्स को कॉन्स्टेंट एज्यूम करना बेसिकली कुछ वेरिएबल्स को कंट्रोल करना ताकि आप सिंपलीफाइड मॉडल्स के थ्रू एक वेरिएबल का दूसरे वेरिएबल के साथ रिलेशनशिप क्या है उसको क्वांटिफाई कर सके उसको एनालाइज कर सके सो एवरी इकोनॉमिक मॉडल हैज दिस ऑफ पेरिबस एंड दिस पेरिबस एजम्पन सिंपली मींस अदर थिंग्स रिमेनिंग द सेम ड्यूरिंग स्टडी ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर मॉडल सम वेरिएबल्स आर एस्यूम्ड टू बी कांस्टेंट whenever there is a change in these constant variables our results will change for example jab if a good ki price change hoti hai for jinko consumer jo hai wo purchase karta hai 
किसी एक गुड और सर्विस की प्राइस के चेंज होने से जो बजट एलोकेशन है एक हाउस होल्ड की डिफरेंट गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज की परचेज के हवाले से वो उससे चेंज हो जाएगी फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंज्यूमर आपको पता है कि प्रैक्टिकली कंज्यूमर या हाउस होल्ड बास्केट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस परचेज करते हैं अब जब किसी एक चीज की प्राइस चेंज होगी तो उससे पूरी जो उसकी बजट एलोकेशन है वो चेंज होगी फॉर एग्जाम्पल आइटम महंगा हो गया है चीनी महंगी होगी तो इस एक चीज की प्राइस के चेंज होने से उसके बाकी गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज की जो क्वांटिटी उसने परचेज करनी है उसमें चेंज जा सकती है सेकेंड कॉमन एलिमेंट और फीचर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक मॉडल इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक मॉडल्स देर आर दीज आर थ्री डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स और फीचर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक मॉडल्स नंबर वन इज दैटिस्पेरी बस एजम्पन नंबर टू the supposition that every economic model optimizes something and a third feature or element is distinction between positive or normative questions so now we will be talking about second element that is common in most economic models and that is structure of economic models most of the economic models you will encounter in this book will have a mathematical structure they will highlight the relationship between factors that affect the decisions of households and firms and the results of those decisions economists tend to use different names for these two types of factors ab humne kaha ki model jo hai wo certain variables ke darmiyan relationship ko explain karta hai तो अब ये जो वेरिएबल्स हैं इनकी ब्रॉडली स्पीकिंग टू टाइप्स हैं सम वेरिएबल्स आर एक्साजनस वेरिएबल्स एंड सम वेरिएबल्स आर इंडाइजनस वेरिएबल्स वेरिएबल्स डेट आर आउटसाइड ऑफ ए डिसीजन मेकर्स कंट्रोल आर नोन एज एक्साजनस वेरिएबल्स सच वेरिएबल्स आर इनपुट्स इन टू इकोनॉमिक मॉडल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन कंज्यूमर थ्योरी we will usually we will usually treat individuals as price takers the prices of goods are determined outside of our models of consumer behavior and we wish to study how consum- consumers adjust to them the results of such decisions for example the quantities of each good that a consumer buys are endogenous variables जो प्राइसेस हैं प्राइसेस ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज जिनको एक कंज्यूमर परचेज करता है दैट आर एक्साइजनस वेरिएबल्स वो प्राइसेस आउटसाइड द मॉडल आउटसाइड द कंट्रोल ऑफ द कंज्यूमर हैं उनकी डिटरमिनेशन लेकिन गिवन प्राइसेस के अगेंस्ट एक कंज्यूमर ने कितनी गुड्स की क्वांटिटी परचेज करनी है दीज आर इंडाइजनस वेरिएबल्स बिकॉज दीज quantities are being determined inside the model within the model how much consumer will purchase how much units of x and how much units of y will be purchased by the consumer given the price of those goods and given his fixed income these are these quantities are basically endogenous variables and these are determined within our model this distinction is pictured schematically in figure 1.1 exogenous variables household prices of goods our funds ki baat kare to prices of inputs and output ye agar hum consumer side pe discussion kar rahe hain to prices of goods exogenous variables hain 
اور اگر ہمارا فوکس فرمز ہیں تو پھر پرائسز آف انپوٹس اینڈ آؤٹ پوٹس اگزاجنس ویریبلز ہیں ان کو ہم اپنے اکنامک مارڈل میں انپوٹ کے طور پر جوز کریں گے سو ہاؤس ہولڈ کے لیے ہم یوٹیلیٹی میکسیمائزیشن مارڈل سٹیڈی کر رہے ہوں گے اگر فرمز کی بات کر رہے ہیں تو اوبجیکٹیو فنکشن ویل بی پرافٹ میکسیمائزیشن پوٹنگ اگزاجنس ویریبلز ایز انپوٹس ان اکنامک مارڈل will provide us values of indigenous variables. So in case of households, quantities bought, how much consumer buys different quantities of different goods. Or firms ke agar hum baat kare hai, to firms ke liye indigenous variable hoga output produced, inputs hired. Firms ne kya decision lena hai? Ke given prices of inputs and outputs how much output will be produced how much factor of production will be hired how much capital will be used how much labor will be used in production process so these are basically structure of economic models or har economic model mein hum certain variables use karte hain some variables are exogenous variables and some variables are endogenous variables جو تھرڈ فیچر ہے ماڈلز کے حوالے سے وہ ہے آپٹیمائزیشن ایسمشن جیسا کہ ہم نے پہلے کہا کہ ہر اکنامک ماڈل ایوری اکنامک ماڈل is supposed to address some optimization so in every اکنامک ماڈل we are supposed to maximize or minimize some objective function for example if we are studying consumers or households our objective function is maximization of utility function subject to certain constraints if we are going to study firms a firms may be a firms objective may be to maximize profit or in certain cases a firms objective function may be minimization of cost So both possibilities are there. So the economic model, every economic model is supposed to optimize something. If we are talking about uh, consumers or households, objective function may be maximization of their well-being, maximization of their utility, maximization of satisfaction. If we are talking about uh, firms, a firm may have different objective functions. What are those objectives? They vary time to time. A firm may be interested to maximize its profit. A firm may be interested to minimize its cost. A firm may be interested to maximize its sales, its revenue, and so on. And sometimes, uh, firm may be interested to capture maximum share of the market. So these are the common features that economic models usually have. These are three different elements that an economic model has. First one is status peribus assumption. Every economic model has certain variables that are supposed to be constant during the period of study. Number two, every economic model is supposed to optimize something. And uh, third uh, element is careful distinction between positive and normative questions. Sorry, this third uh, uh, element will be discussed in next session. For the time being, we have talked about two elements. First one is at asperibus assumption, and uh, other one is optimization assumptions. We will talk about third element that is common in most economic models, that is distinction between uh, normative 
are positive. <clears throat> this third one a careful distinction between positive and normative questions this will be discussed in next session thank you